This guy's in the new bins. He's a cute vintage Santa. Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time reseller. A thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage sales, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. Again, I'm back at the bids, yes, for another treasure hunt. I only have a few hours today because my fur baby has a doctor's appointment today. So let's get our butts in there and see what we can find. And it's nice out today. It's a lot warmer than what it was yesterday morning, that's for sure. I'm hoping I can find a few good things for the little bit of time that I get to be here today. Well, I'm assuming they just brought this one out since this is where everybody's at. Let's see if we can find some treasures. Let's see what's in here. Don't need no candles. Hi, Jim. Hey, Missy, how are you doing? Good, how are you today? Oh, good. <laughs> okay, well, out of the new bins, I found a cute little dolly she's adorable and then a couple vintage scarves so yeah not just a couple things in the new bins yep i came over to see if they've done glass yet and they have not cool all right let's go check out the hard goods so i was just walking by this bin you guys and this was this old bin Somebody must have put it back or something, but that is beautiful. New in the package, vintage tablecloth. Going in my cart. All right, let's go look down here. What is this? What is this beautiful piece of embroidery? Needs to be washed and treated, but that's gorgeous. So I will take that, that will go in my cart. There's a vintage hat, a lady's hat. It's very springy. We'll think about it. If I find more, we'll see. Those are cute. Cute napkins for Halloween time, but it's not even close to Halloween time. There's a bandana. like new. What's this? It's a cute piece of cowboy fabric. I don't know. Would you make a pillow out of it maybe? I don't know. I have no idea, but you know what? That can go into maybe a linen lot. 
doesn't weigh anything. I think I'm, this might be a lemons day today. This is so sad. I always get so sad when um, I see vintage puzzles that are all, you know, missing because they got just thrown in the bins. So, yeah, there's a bunch of the puzzle pieces right here. So sad. All right, they are taking away these bins. This hard row, gonna bring out some new ones. All right, here they come with the new bins. Oh, that's cute as heck. This guy's in the new bins. He's a cute vintage Santa. I'm gonna take him. I like him. Norbs. And some VHS. Okay, well these are new bins they just brought out and I I haven't had a chance to look at them because right when they brought out these, then they called, said they were bringing out glass bins. This is weird. That's a weird looking. Anyways, they said they were bringing out glass bins, so I ran over to the glass bins, and you guys, I got some pretty good things out of the glass bins. So, I'm gonna look at these really quickly. See if there's anything in these new ones and then I gotta get going because, like I said, my fur baby has an appointment today. It was a short day, but a good day. We made it out of there and spent $18, got one sack full of stuff. So let's get right into the haul. Now, like I said, even though it was a short day, um, I ended up getting some pretty good things for only spending $18. So this was one of the things that I picked up. I absolutely love him. He is so cute. I love picking up vintage Santas. Um, a lot of them are not the same and a lot of people collect them. And so just look at that face. Wouldn't you want that in your collection? I think so. And it look at his chunky legs. Oh, I love him so much. He's in really good condition. So I like him. He came home with me. And this gal, she is so cute too. So stinking cute and adorable. Um, she's holding, I don't know if this was supposed to be attached, maybe right here, and she's supposed to be holding it. I don't know, but she's got it in her hand. It's a little dolly poo, -poo. Isn't she adorable? Her name is Annie, and it says, handmade with love. Oh, she's so cute. So she came home with us this is awesome i really really like this um vintage tablecloth in the package the package has been opened but it's still a little bit shut right there um i don't think this has ever been out of its package so i think it's still new look at perfect for springtime 
absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So that came home with me. I found a couple scarves, a couple vintage scarves. These ones are like longer ones. And let me see if I can find them. Um, there's the label to that one. And then here's the label to this one. So I like them. I think they're pretty and um, funky and I like the fabric. So those will either go into linen lot or a scarves lot, one of the two. I also found this amazing vintage um, beach towel. I will lay it out right here and take a picture so you can see what it looks like, but it is so cool. So uh, 60s, 70s style somewhere in there. And then in the glass bins, ooh, I found some pretty cool things. I found this angel set. So it's this girl and then some little ones, but her wings have, the tips have been broken off, unfortunately, but I still did not want to leave her behind. Look how kitschy and cute she looks. So she's the bigger girl. And then there's four smaller ones, but the four smaller ones, they don't have any wings. They weren't, weren't meant to have wings. So they're little baby, little babies. I'll show you that one, that one. Um, one, unfortunately, had its little hand. Its little hand's been broken off, but he's still cute, right? Can't leave that little amputee behind. And then that one. So those four little ones and then the bigger one. Oh, I thought they were adorable. Then I also got a glass fish out of the glass bins. I like picking up these art glass fish, so... That one, I picked up a vintage hat. I thought somebody would like, you know, if you collect hats. Um, this one's actually kind of perfect for springtime. Doesn't, my head's a little bit too big, but you can see kind of what it looks like right there. But it's really fun with all the cute flowers. Perfect for springtime. And then I picked up this really cute glass ornament. How fun. It's not old, but I like the elephant holding the, the bulb. This for a treasure bag. It's paper flowers. I thought that if you like to craft and stuff, um, these would be fun for that. So they're going to go into a treasure bag. Same with this. I thought that was really fun. I like the style of that. And then I found a compass. And it actually does work. So, pretty cool. I found this in the glass bins. Absolutely love this piece. It is gorgeous and stunning. It's dirty on the inside, but it's stamped on the bottom and numbered USA. And so, I just... And there's no chips or cracks. It's actually a very beautiful piece. So, perfect for spring decor. This... Is awesome. This is a whole giant bag of those mini brands. Um, they look like actual, you know, actual things, but they're mini. They're some are really cool. These ones are neat. They're little toys in packages. Um, they've got candy bars. Um. I don't know, a bunch of toys. There's so many different things. I mean, these are so fun. Absolutely love finding these little mini brand things. There's just so many. It is a whole gallon size bag completely full of them. So that was exciting. I dug all of them out of the bins and my friends helped as well. So thank you guys for helping me. <laughs> I picked up this wooden carved owl. He's a little derpy looking. So that's what I liked about him. <laughs> he 
He's wooden and he can go into a treasure bag or something unless somebody wants him separately. I found a few linens, some off white, and then these pillowcases are in rough shape. Um, they need to be re-sewn, but they're all embroidered, and so I didn't want to leave them behind. They're really pretty. Some more embroidered linens. All these will go into a linen bag because you guys like the linen bags, and I like to sell the linen bags. And then the last thing that I picked up today was this beautiful gorgeous embroidered tablecloth. It is absolutely stunning. Um, and again, I will lay it out right here so you guys can see what it looks like all laid out and beautiful and pretty. So that was my haul, guys. Um, I only spent $18 for all that stuff. So I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Uh, most everything that you see me me pick up will be available in my live sales which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time so if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I had a lot of fun today even though it was a short day it was a good day so um, as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time keep smiling and happy picking bye guys